Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new product from Ubiquity and one that I've just recently gotten my hands on. That new product is the Unify Device Bridge or UDB for short. The UDB is a wireless bridging device that has a one gigabit ethernet LAN port that provides PoE of up to 15 watts and it works on the 5 gigahertz band with a throughput of 867 megabits per second, and it also has a software switchable antenna. Now, where would you use the UDB? For me, the most common use case would be to use it on a PoE camera. If it's physically impossible for me to run a CAT6 cable, all I need to do is plug the UDB into power, grab any PoE camera like the G4 Pro or the G5 Flex, and now I have a wired connection to my camera. Another use case would be to power up a Unify Talk phone. In my second office, we have no ethernet running. So plugging the UDB in and then a Talk phone works great. Taking a closer look at the UDB on the front, there is a signal strength indicator, as you can see here. On the top of the device, we have our one gigabit PoE ethernet port and we have our antenna port. On the back, there is a reset button and a slot for our mounting bracket. On the bottom, that's where we're going to be plugging it into power. Within the UDB, they have an internal antenna. If you want to have omnidirectional, they do provide you with that RPSMA connector antenna for external use. Now let's take a look at what this device looks like inside our Unify network application. Now within our Unify network application, we could see the UDB is ready to be adopted. Let's click to adopt. Now there's a couple things we could see here. We could see the name, we could see that it's up to date and then the IP address. This is a meshing device, so it does say it's meshing and it's meshing towards my U6 enterprise access point. If I click on the UDB, it's gonna bring up our settings. So we could see the name right at the top and where it's meshing to once again, as well as that signal strength. So we're getting minus 33 dBm, which is good. We could also see that there's something powering on that ethernet port by this indicated and we could power cycle it if we like. My phone is currently connected to it. We could click over on port manager, and this is showing that the phone is on there, and if we click on the port, there's a couple of things that we could do. We could name the port, we could power cycle, we could either have it active or disabled, and then we could set the PoE. If we don't want PoE on this at all, we would just turn it off. We'd also see under advanced, we have auto and then we have manual and then our link speed, which it's going at one gigabit per second, but we could do 100 megabits full duplex, half duplex, 10 megabits per second, full duplex and half duplex. And then we have this ethernet port profile. Going down a little bit, we have a couple more statistics for our TX retries, and then it's gonna show us the client that's attached to it, which is my phone. We also could see the IP address, MAC address, device version, uptime memory usage, and then the load average. If we click on insights, there's not gonna be anything here because it's the first time I've plugged this in and we could also look at our system statistics. This is just gonna show us our CPU and our memory like any other Ubiquiti device. Now clicking on the settings wheel, we could rename this and then we have our antenna type. It's saying the built-in antenna, but I currently have that external antenna. So we're gonna click on the drop-down menu and we're gonna say the Omni antenna. Below that, we have our antenna gain. If we hover over the eye icon, it says antenna gain customized is not allowed in your region, but this restriction can be overridden by enabling professional installer options in your system settings. And below that, we have our meshing. So it's either set to auto or we could have it on manual. And this is where we could do our uplink priority. So there we could have it on auto. If we look down, we're gonna see all of our access points. So if you want this to be meshing to a specific access point, you could do that. I'm gonna leave it on auto for this video. Then we have our IP settings, which is normal, our DHCP or static, and then we have the manage, which is normal as well. It will just do things like turn on and off the LED, manual firmware update, locate, restart, and then remove it from our network application. And there's not too much more to the unified device bridge. This was a quick little video showing you how it works. I do think this is gonna be very popular for the use case that I said, plugging it in and then powering up a PoE camera. I will be using this probably at the side of my house or maybe the front of my house where I don't have an ethernet cable. Let me know down in the comments below what you would be using the UDB for. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.